Welcome back to another redstone video today. We get two redstone things that we're gonna be talking about. We get the button and the lever. Let's learn a little more about them. A button can be crafted with one regular stone to create a stone button, any type of plank to create that type of button, and polished black stone to create a polished black stone button. A button can be attached to a block on the side, on the top, or even on the bottom. As long as it's attached to a solid block, it's good. Though if we break that block, it goes away. When a button is pressed, it stays pressed for a little bit of time. It stays pressed and gives out a redstone signal for a short amount of time. The button will power blocks next to it with a power level of 15 and strongly power the block it is on to a power of 15 as well. So redstone on the other side or on top of it will all be activated. Something that's not well known is that the different buttons not only look different, but they act different too. For the stone buttons, the regular stone and the black stone buttons, these buttons stay on for one second. All of the wooden buttons, for some reason, stay on for 1.5 seconds. And another interesting difference between the two, wooden buttons can also be shot by arrows and the arrow sticks in the button and keeps it pressed down. However, this does not work with stone buttons, probably because stone is harder and arrows can't sink into the wood. And that's all you need to know about the button. So how about the lever, or lever, or lever? No, no one says it like that. The lever can be crafted with one cobblestone, underneath one stick. The lever can be placed anywhere the button can, and you can flick it on or off. Just like the button, the lever will give out a redstone output of 15 to all blocks nearby it, and it will strongly power the block that it is attached to. When a lever is flicked on, it will stay on until it is flicked back off or destroyed. And just like that, you've got yourself a really cheap, permanent power source. Other than using it for redstone, the lever is also really good for decorating. Like here, I'm using it for little snowman arms. Here's a snowman that can wave to you. And that is all for this episode. I hope you learned something new. Go check out this playlist where I've got a whole bunch of other videos on more cool and awesome and complex redstone stuffs. But as for now, me and Mr. Snowman, we'll see you in the next one.